Hey everyone, it's John back with more Rogue Legacy. Let's get in there. Lady Charlotte, Sir Culp, the Archmage. We got a couple of Arch Mages and an Assassin. Um, I think I like the looks of the Assassin. Lady Chun Li the Fourth. So since last video and this one, we have gotten a bunch of upgrades. You can see that the tree is a lot bigger than it was last time. I've unlocked some upgrades uh, for the Shinobi. Uh, he's got like a mini teleport thing. I unlocked... Uh, I can see the unlock for the Lich class now. I upgraded the Miner to a Spelunker. The Spelunker gives us the ability to see items on the map, so that's pretty neat. Um, I upgraded the Potion, just so I could... I mean, that doesn't really seem like a super impressive skill, especially for that cost. Oh, boy. 2,890, but uh, it did allow us to see that the next thing on the tree is the Spell Thief. Below the Miner, there is a Gold Gain upgrade that I got. The Miners give us plus 30%, but everyone else gives us plus 0. However, now with this upgrade, everyone gives us plus 10% gold. So all those 10 gold uh, coins uh, will be 11 gold pieces apiece now. So that's cool. I got a couple of other points put into some other things here. Oh, there's uh, there's armor up and down strike up, which gives us more damage with our uh, our down strike ability. Uh, I do have a little bit of money I can spend now. Let's go ahead and get some armor. Armor is always a good thing. Best offense is a good defense. I don't think that's actually how it goes. And oh hey, let's see what we got here. Blacksmith. What do we have with the blacksmith? We have a new set of bracers available to us, which will give us some extra magic when we can afford it at 750 gold. At the Enchantress, I think since last time what we have new for you guys is this Vampire Rune. I am using a Vampire Rune. I originally had this Retaliation Rune on there, which returns damage to enemies when they hit you, but I figure I'd rather try to stay alive than just kill the other guys off. So. Yeah, so we're going to siphon some life out of guys whenever we hit them. This episode, I think we're going to try to do is find the boss of the forest. Just to see what we're going to be up against. I don't think we're going to be ready to attack him yet. Might want another sprint rune or jump rune or something before we can attempt that. But let's get over to the forest and see if we can just find the boss of the forest. Let's sprint past this. I know the eyeball boss of the castle was a pain in the ass, so um, I want to find out ahead of time, find out as early as I can what we need to do in order to be able to beat him. Oh, I can't get through there. Not a, all right. It doesn't matter anyway. We're not we're not doing that anyway. We're just gonna go over here and what's my oh yeah. Let's use those things. We're just gonna try and find the boss of the forest. It's gonna be over to the right. The forest is always over to the right in the castle. So let's just get over to the right and see if we can find that forest boss. Oh, crit. Love having crits. Ooh, I'm not going to pass up money, though. I want to get over there, but I'm, there's no way I'm going to pass up 110 gold. Let's just keep moving. Keep moving. Whoa! Okay, I don't need to deal with him. Here, let's just let's just see what that guy does. Besides, he runs around. Oh, he didn't do any of his sprinting or anything. Okay, well, that's fine. That's basically free money you just gave me. Created that guy. Sweet. So, hope you guys are doing well. Oh, hey, um. Something I noticed when I fired up the game today was that there were some patch notes. They upgraded the version ever so slightly. It doesn't look like there's any game, really uh, game-changing uh, changes in the patch. It looks like it was mostly bug fixes. Oh, I don't want to do that because that's going to destroy all the vases. I better get over here. Okay. Uh, it was mostly bug fixes, um, a couple of crash things. 
Doesn't look like anything super spectacular that is going to change any, you know, the way that you play the game. But I'll put the patch notes in the description below so you guys can check it out. Also, I think I'm going to put this video up a little bit sooner than I was planning because I want you guys to be able to see this sooner rather than later. Racking up the money here. I do like having an extra 10% gold, and we're going to skip those dudes. Those are not the bosses of the level, and we don't need to screw with that. Wherever this boss is, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen something weird with those skeleton archers, where sometimes um, if, you hit the, if you knock them back and then they shoot you, then they shoot right at you, the arrow will go through... Okay, that's a, that's a bad example. But th that, that second arrow will sometimes go right through you. I think that's that's got to be a bug. I wonder if that's something that they fixed in this patch. Reach me there in time. Uh, oh, I did it! What rune do we get? Bouncy rune. Oh, I think that's going to be a gold increase, guys. Oh, we're going to get that. It was on the bracers, though. Oh, I'm using the vampire rune. I really like having the vampire rune. That can really help stretch out your your runs. Hmm. Do I want more money, or do I want to stay alive longer? Oh! And there we are. There is the boss. This has got to be the boss's room. Um, let's see, up there, there's probably going to be some health. Okay, we're just going to take a look at the boss. I don't have any expectation of beating him here. Especially with only about three quarters health. What do we have? Oh my gosh. Holy shit! All right. What is this dude's gonna do? Ah, jeez. Jesus. Oh man, I'm not doing any damage to him too. Let me get the hell away from here. And he's spitting out these dudes too. Look at that. I critted him, and I did a little bit of damage, but I don't think I did enough to make it. Ah, frig. Okay, great. Well, these skeletons... I'm going to have to really stay ahead of these skeletons, these uh, these skull guys, to make this boss doable. Screw this. I'm just going to get some money out of this room. Wow, look at all the money I have in this run. This was a great run for not even trying to get that much cash. Of course, it was helped by getting 10% more. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, boy. Well, that boss is going to be... That's going to be something. <laughs> So now we know what we're facing. We're facing a giant skull named Alexander. Let's go on a couple more runs and get some more cash. Let's spend some of the money we just got, too. Assassin uh, with Dextrocardia. We don't want to do that. HP and MP uh, pools are swapped. That's bad. Tunnel Vision. I've never actually seen what Tunnel Vision does. Um, I haven't been able to figure that one out. Let's just take a look at that again and see if we can figure out what Tunnel Vision does. Oh, look at this. I can do just about everything on the map. On the tree. Uh, spell Thief. Can't get more gold, because that's super expensive. Hmm. Let's get more attack. That one's pretty cheap still. Yeah, let's get more attack. Oh, I can do that twice. Do I have anything here I can buy? Oh, I do have that Bounty Rune. It was on the, the bracers, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a tough one. If I had a vampire rune for another... Hmm, for another piece of equipment for a different slot, I might do that. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we're going to do the bounty rune. I wonder how much more that gives us. Does it, t does it tell us here? Bounty. Each gold drop is 20% more valuable. Wow. That's super useful. That might be that might be worth it. That really might be seriously worth it. Uh, can't do anything else here. Yep, don't have any any purchases we can do anymore. Um No, I'm not going to lock down the castle. Let's just make another run over to to the forest again, guys. But let's still get all our all our money. 12 gold. Oh, it doesn't stack. It doesn't stack with the the other upgrade. 
Doesn't look like it does, anyway. Hmm. Because I should be getting... I should be getting, like, 13 gold each time if, if the 10% from the upgrade tree and the 20% from the bracers both count. I should be getting 13 gold each time. I'm only getting 12, though. Is that, is that something that you guys know about? If anyone out there knows the truth about whether that's supposed to stack or not, let me know. Get those dudes. So I am interested to see if they actually are going to add... Um, if they're going to add more classes in future patches, too. Fixing bugs is, is really nice, but I'd like to see some... Oh. Oh, this is just a trick room. Can I get out of here? Yes. That's just a trap room. That's all that was. Yeah, so it'd be cool if they added some more, you know, to the upgrade tree. Not that I have... Not that I'm, like, anywhere near completing the upgrade tree as it is, but... You know, I'm interested to see more content updates to games that I like. Okay. Over here, this is... Yep, that's definitely a undead painting thingy. Frost mage. Standard mages. Frost and fire in this game. Oh, son of a bitch. Those guys always get me when they turn around like that. Let's get over to the forest again, I guess. Oh, hey, was that a... Hmm. What's down here? There's a... Oh, I can't get to it because I'm not a dwarf. If dwarfism is you, like you almost always want to go for dwarfism, I think, because there are so many places that you that they hide, especially in the castle area to begin with, that they hide that you just can't get to unless you're a dwarf. There's a lot of stuff that's just necessarily locked out from you. So if you have dwarf offered to you, I say take it every time. Oh, this goes up to the Maya. Should we take a look at the Maya? Let's go in here for a second. We're going to be doing this eventually, after we upgrade a bunch more and clear out the forest. Oh, I'm going to need some more attack, attack strength, though, huh? Yeah, I can't be doing three hits each time on these bad guys. Going to want more critical and more general attack strength. Listen to this music, guys. I like this music. This music really reminds me of some old-school NES games. You know what this makes this puts me in mind of, kind of, is Castlevania 2. I mean, just the mood of this, of the Maya area. Just the mood of this area, and this music, like, this, this part of the music right here. Hear that, guys? Doesn't that 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 reminds me of of Castlevania 2? Maybe I I never played a lot of the Castlevania games, but definitely reminds me of two. Boy, yeah, this this area is definitely more difficult. Oh, it would help if I didn't just run right into dudes too. Chain tour. Oh, look at this giant dude. Oh, he charges. Oh! Trap chest! Oh! Hey, look at him. He got stuck in the the dwarf-only passage. Jesus! Oh, god damn it! Ah. Whew. I got a blueprint out of that, at least. So that's good. A little health. Got a little bit of my health back. Oh, I don't know if I like this area, guys. Maybe we should head back down to the down to the forest, huh? Uh, yeah, let's just go back down to the forest. Let's go to the castle. Let's lock that teleporter in for us in case we want it in the future. And head over here to the forest. 
Alright, we're back. Oh, jeez. Okay, I found the forest. And as soon as I walked in, I got started getting hit by this guy. By this blaze lock. Ugh. I, I do like how they step up the ability of, of the monsters. Like, uh, the the original ones hit, hit you, uh, shoot three things at you. Um, the next level up Fire Mage shoots five. I imagine in the in the Maya, they're going to shoot more than that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to defeat this guy. Bastard. Uh, in the Maya, they're going to, you know, shoot like seven at us or whatever. Ah, god damn it. You know what? The forest actually kind of reminds me of the forest area in Castlevania 2. I'm kind of stuck on Castlevania 2 today. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call it there. That was a short-lived forest run at the end, but we're just going to save up some money, get some upgrades, and try to take on Alexander, the boss of the forest, in a video or two. Hope you guys like this. If you are liking the series, subscribe, like, and comment below if you can. I will talk to you later.